Hello, welcome. Hope you're doing well on this beautiful Memorial Day weekend. Before we get started, I want to touch on two things. First of all, on my previous video, the uh, rotated boxes, Yasir Rossell, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, pointed out that I was not rotating the end boxes on the exercise. Damn it, just when I was beginning to drink my own Kool-Aid. <laughs> no, really, we, we all make mistakes, okay? I'm not gonna redo the video, I'm gonna leave it as, as it is, but there is no shame in going back and uh, reworking them. So I went ahead and did this. I did it so you can see that I went ahead and reworked the mistake. And now we can move on to the second point. Groovemaster944 noticed something on my hand when I was drawing the Kenworth T680 and he thought it might have been a glove. He was close. Uh, to make a long story short, when I was doing only pencils, I used to use the paper over the artwork trick. That way I wouldn't smudge the pencils. And that has always been a problem for me being left-handed, but I imagine right-handed people have the same problem also. The thing was, is when I was trying to get into comics and I landed in my first gigs, they were inking gigs. Here in Georgia, although we have air conditioning, it still gets humid. Sometimes I would open up my windows because it was a nice day, so it wasn't that hot you know, for me to worry about air conditioning. My forearm would still sweat, my hand would still sweat, the paper would stick to it, and then I would end up smudging my inks. So I came up with these long before I knew that they were gloves. Basically an old saw what I do is I cut holes for my thumb for these three fingers and then I would just wear it to get started I have enclosed the measurements of the template I'm going to be using to do this exercise let's go ahead and get started my name is Rick Bonilla and this is the last lesson before you get to the 250 box challenge this one is called Organic Perspective. Before you get started, I suggest you watch the two videos that Uncomfortable made. I have left the links in the description box for you to look at. And these videos explain better than I ever could the process of drawing boxes. Let's go ahead and speed up the video so you don't go watching the draw. As you can see, I went ahead and drew the swoopy line and then did all the boxes in one pass. So the line weight was the same on all of them. And then to visually separate them, I drew a heavier outline on the ones in the front and made sure the outline got thinner as we receded towards the back. That way you could separate the ones that were in the front from the ones that were in the back.
this exercise was pretty straightforward for me. From here, I'll be moving on to the 250 box challenge. Like always, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment and I will try to answer it as soon as I can. We are now getting towards the end of the video. If you saw something that tickled your fancy, just hit those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to pass the information along, feel free to share it. My name is Rick Bonilla. Thank you for spending a little time with me and have a great day.